Are we going to make it through? Are we going to make it through? Come on. This is the ultralight trike mod for BeamNG. It's an awesome way to get around the bigger maps in this game. And today we're in River Highway, that awesome map which has a couple of airports which are perfect for using this trike. Now the engine does sound a little bit like a transit van. If I can just rev it up here, will it go? Yeah, it, it sounds a bit like a transit van, but it does work fairly well. It's kind of powerful. This is the standard variant. Now it's called the Eolus L575. I'll leave a link to both the trike and the map um, in the description down below. So this is the prime version. There's a high-end model of the Eolus L575 with full cockpit, wheel fairings, windshield and additional stowage powered by the Rotax 912, that's the engine. And then we'll use the sport variant a bit later, which is a light version, so we can um, maybe do some tricks and stunts in it. Now, out on the outside it does look pretty good. You can change the colour of all the different parts, as you can see here. It's pretty cool. Um, and we're going to have a nice green one, that looks kind of cool. You can green screen this out now. And we've got some instruments there that don't work. So what I did instead, I put the um, airspeed and a compass down the bottom right with the UI. So let's just zoom out a bit to like there, I think that's perfect. And get this screen open so it tells us the controls. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. And then if I press Q to go into automatic gearbox, there we go. Whoa, that's too fast, that's way too fast. Holy moly. So you do need to actually go in gear for it to go off. Okay, nice. So let's just hold it down to the ground until we reach about 40 knots. And then go. Yes, up we go. Now it is pretty difficult to fly when you're starting out because of the low airspeed. But if you just keep it going, you can see the wheels. Oh no, there's a tree. Trees, we hit the trees. Oh, oh dear. Wow, and it's still going. It's like tearing itself apart. Wow, okay, let's go again. Just let's um, go to the right a bit, give ourselves a bit more room on the runway. And then we're going to look around this beautiful map, which has had some fairly major updates recently. Over 200 kilometers of road to explore, but today we're going to be exploring the skies, not the roads. Max throttle. Now just let go and just let it gently pull up, like that. Now we need to keep straight on the runway. I couldn't find any like altitude UI app. I don't think there's anyone in the BeamNG, like the base vanilla game, but maybe there's a custom UI app I can download somewhere. Okay, here we go. So we need to climb above these treetops, otherwise we're not going to do very well. Oh, this is not looking good. I think I used to fly trikes in like Far Cry 5 or 4. Was it 5 or 4? I don't know. And then there was obviously the famous trike in... Um... What? This is bad. In um, oh, Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Yay, we're up. So, we're going to have a look around the map. It is beautiful around here. One of the best open worlds, or like large open worlds in BeamNG. It's amazing. And let's head over to that lake there. So we're going to check out the uh, bridge. There's like a big suspension bridge. And there's also a dam. We're going to fly over this lake. Have a look at the factory there. It's going to be great. Okay, yeah, I think we've got a good amount of altitude. Uh, you can see over here, like, the, the rudders are actually moving, as well as the actual bar where you control the wings. And there is a train line that goes around the entire map. This map actually reminds me a lot of, like, farm sim maps. Do you know what I mean? Lots of wide open spaces, like a train line going through it. It's kind of cool. We're flying over the factory now. There's the bridge on the left. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Can we push down a bit? It's a bit, it's a bit difficult to control. Let's pitch down. Um, there you go. That's better. There's a portaloo there. Oh yeah. So what we're going to do? We're going to circle around and head back to the airfield or the airstrip, I should say. And we're going to do a landing. See how I can land this thing. Okay, we're coming in low over the highway. Now, if you've ever seen an ultralight trike in real life before, you know how low they fly. Um, so, yeah, we wouldn't be flying too much higher than this, although I don't think it's safe to be flying over the runway. We could actually try landing here, but I do want to go for the full challenge and go to the actual runway. So, um, it does like to pitch up, but I guess if we um, decrease the throttle, the, the nose won't pitch up so much and we'll have a bit of an easier task. 
landing this thing. But I think that the airspeed, like top speed, is sort of 40 to 50, so it's not that fast. This thing. Let's just let's just decrease the, the throttle just a tiny bit. I'm holding A. There you go. There you go. See, look, the nose pitches pitches down almost instantly, which is good. That's too. That's way too little. Oh my goodness. Where is it? It's, like, it's over that hill, isn't it? Let's have a quick look. So you can shift C. Let's have a quick look. There it is. Right, we're going in. Over these trees here. So I need enough height to get over the trees, but then I need to descend rapidly. Here we go. It's fairly easy to fly, I don't know. When you get the hang of it, you have to use a controller, but it is quite nice to fly. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yes. Whoa, there's a tree coming. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Up, up. Oh, there's the runway. Up, up. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Up. Oh, oh dear. That was a disaster. That was an absolute disaster. I nearly made it though, look. Look at how close I was to the runway. Right, let's go and get into the sport version and start doing some stunts. So here it is, the Sport version. It's lightweight, but it has the same engine, so it should be a little bit better at doing some acrobatics. Now we're going to go to the big suspension bridge on this map and see if we can maybe fly under it or do some kind of stunt around it. So, uh, let's go. Into gear. Build up the rest slowly, and there we go. Does feel a bit faster. We don't have any lights on this thing, which is a bit, you know, it'd be good if we did. There we go. We can now pitch up a bit steeper than we could before, I think. Yeah, and it's holding the speed pretty well. 30 knots is about the stall speed. We don't want to head too far over that way, so let's just aim to the right. In fact, look, if you go to the right, the trees aren't quite as tall there. So that is perfect. Right, let's get going to that suspension bridge. So we're following this beautiful river and the highway, and then over to the left there, you can see, just in the distance, the suspension bridge. Now if we head over these trees, we should be going right towards it. I'm wondering if we can like follow like some kind of infrastructure like a road or does it go over the river? I think it actually might do. The river kind of sweeps around and then goes under that suspension bridge. There we go. Let's see if we can, I don't know, where would be best to do like a stunt around it? Underneath? Yeah, underneath. Let's do it. Oh, it looks great over here. Just a really detailed, lovely, luscious map. What does that say there? You see this? There's like some signs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are they? Aha! Do not enter. Do not enter. Is it, what is this? Speed limit 55, is it a road? That's really odd. I don't actually know what's in here. Right, I mean, we're so close. So if I can just, oh. Pull up here, yeah, that's good. Now Spencer Johnson has got lots of cool open world maps coming. There's one that's based, I think, on Lake Tahoe. So I can't wait to drive or fly this plane, this ultralight around there. That'll be awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's do an underneath pass. It's not that fast, is it? There seems to be another hangar over there. I know what to do. Let's go between the wires, yeah? Like through that centre bit, through that centre bit. Come on, down, push down! All right, less, less power, less power, less power. There you go, push down. We're just gliding. And now back up. Right. Are we going to make it through? Are we going to make it through? Come on. Left, 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 left. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 wow. That was amazing. That was just like a stunt from a movie. Oh, we're going to crash though. No. Oh, my goodness. That was awesome. I didn't even mean to do that. And that was sinking. Oh, my. That was so much fun. Right. So what I want to do now, take off on the actual bridge. I used to do this in um, flights and again. I used to take off from the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. So here we go. Now keep it nice and straight. Don't want to hit anything. There's 40. Up slowly. 
Don't hit anything. Just keep it in the center now. Keep it in the center. Whoa! This is really weird. This is really weird. How are we doing? We're going. We're going. Don't... Oof! I nearly clipped that. Okay. I think there's a toll booth at the end of here. Do you see that? That's pretty cool. Okay. What an awesome mod. It could do with a bit more power. Um, so this, like, I think this mod was like a recreation or an improvement to an old mod that no longer works. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not the most up-to-date mod, but it does work perfectly in the latest version of BeamNG, and it's on the forum, so you can easily download it. It's a beautiful thing to fly, a very interesting plane to fly, because it's like no other. Now, if we head over to the left, I believe the International Airport is there. And one of the new features in this map, something that I think a lot of modern maps need, is lighting. So if we go to the night time, look, 1.59 at night, the, the runway is actually lit up. And so are, a few, I think, a few of the terminal buildings. Does any other lights? Yeah, look. The bridge is lit up. Can we look at that? Oh, that is really cool. So the bridge is lit up so you don't hit it with a plane. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Now, this plane doesn't have any lights, which is a bit annoying. And also, I can't actually now see the top of the trees. Look, if I press N, nothing's happening. But um, let's try and go for a nighttime landing. I don't know what this is going to look like on, on video. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, decrease bottle. And now we just glide in. Like this. A proper landing. Here we go. No. No. Oh. Well, actually, I landed a bit on the grass, but let's try and get... Let's get airborne again and land on the runway for, for real. There we go. We're just about up. Oh, no. I didn't have enough airspeed. Oh, wow. That was a fail. Okay, so here we go. We're going to try landing this ultralight in the early morning at the big airport. So just decrease the throttle a bit. Not too much. Like that. And now... Oh, I'm rubbish. Oh, the wheels come up. But we did actually land. And I think if you hold the brake button, it does actually brake, which is good. Engine off, boom. There we go. Now, this runway, I've just got to say, is so long. You could easily land, like, I don't know, a 747 there. Wow, it's long. And here's the airport. So this map is awesome. The ultralight trike is even more awesome. Um, I'll leave a link to both these mods in the description down below. If you want to see some more plane action in BeamNG, click the video on screen right now. It's really, really fun. I use some Jato rockets on the Flying Pigeon. Thank you very much my Ultra Sim fan, Omar Mandy. They've put me on the YouTube membership, so you can buy one for as little as $1.99 per month, and you get access to things like exclusive monthly simulator adventures videos. Thank you very much for watching. That's all for now. I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.